Welcome back to and this guides. In today's video, we are going to show you how to use Hubstaff as an employee. Let's begin. Using Hubstaff as an employee involves several steps to ensure accurate time tracking and efficient communication with your employer. But again, before you can use Hubstaff, make sure if you haven't already is to sign in or log in using your credentials. If you haven't done so, click the free 14-day trial. And from here, just enter all of the information necessary. Okay? And by following the on-screen instructions, we have created our account here on Hubstaff. Now, once you are here on the Hubstaff dashboard, you can see a lot of sections wherein you can have an access to the timesheet, the activity, of course, insights, and a lot more. Now, the timesheet reflects the when you begin work okay and select the appropriate project or task wherein your company or your client has begun to work in, into of course you can start the timer right here to begin tracking your time automatically and make sure you accurately track the time you spend on different tasks throughout the day now you can view and edit all the sheets right here from last seven days if that's going to be part of the payroll cutoff last week and two weeks you can also of course choose the members time zone if you wanted from cst to esd and a lot more and you also have the option to view it weekly daily and calendar all right now you can also review the uh, time sheets approval if you wanted if you have the access but the thing that i like to that i like most in hub staff is the calendar wherein we can have an option here where you can create shifts okay now when you create shifts you can select the members or if you wanted to volunteer to your company or your client to add members right here you can set the uh, shift duration in these times you can put in minimum hours if you want for example you're going to be working five hours and you can have an option for the recurring shift options you can click on save and you can also have the option to add your calendar or schedule settings. That's one of the best things about Hubstaff. Now, when you click on the report section, you see you have the options for time activity, payment option, timesheet approvals. For example, if there's going to be a dispute on in the uh, timesheet for payout, what you can do is simply export the file and check on the report if it's uh there's uh an option for you to investigate you can also go to the timesheets wherein you see this option add time you can actually add manual time if necessary if you forgot to start the timer or need to log time retroactively you can manually add time entries in the hub staff app you can provide details about the work you perform during that time and again you can also review your times timesheet with approvals if you wanted you can also choose the uh this option right here um for example you can customize your hub staff experience for idlest timeout like never and a lot more so there's an option for you to you can track apps and urls so that depending on your employer's policies you may need to submit timesheets or reports for approval because hub staff allows you to generate timesheets that detail your talk track time and activities and again from these um option right here in the performance tab this is where you can of course get an input to monitor your productivity because hubstaff provides that it's a feature that tracks your activity levels in app and website usage while these features are optional and depend on your employer's preferences they can help you stay focused and productive throughout the workday for example you're working on on google sheets for some um, our amount of uh, a longer amount of times instead of doing another, another task the employer or your boss would definitely identify the areas that you know that if you needed help into right so it's a good way to review and analyze your time because 
when your boss or your client or a company periodically review your track time and activities to ensure accuracy and identify areas for improvement. Hub staff office report and analytics tool to help you analyze your productivity and efficiency. Now, the thing is, you can always log out of your um, hub staff when you're done working. Stop the timer in the hub staff app and log out of your account to end your work session and this is going to be also an option to connect your preferred payment system to automate payroll all right so um your boss can send payments directly through the hub staff based on hours worked and set pay rates for your teams they have the option for paypal payoneer gusto and transfer wise or wise if you wanted so you can always ask this to your employer your company or your client or your boss on which payment method you preferred all right if you have paypal uh, that's going to be um easy to connect but i suggest you go for the transfer wise because it's one of the best platform for uh, efficient and minimal transaction fees now when you click again on the dashboard you would be able to um see the weekly activity work this week and spend this week on a specific project you have worked with this insights give your employer the option to see on sections that may need be checking right here and also check the financials for your boss in terms of the ascend uh, payments right here team members or your uh, team members Remember the approved timesheets earlier? Now, if you haven't done so, click this clock icon here because you would be able to download and use the desktop app, right? And again, all you're going to do is put in the uh, play button if you wanted to work with a specific project. And if you're done and log out of the day of or the uh, duration of your shift, just click on stop and the hub staff will do all the work for you. But please keep in mind that, again, if you choose a plan here as an employee, but the thing is your employer will going to be um, paying for that. If you are an employer, a client that you have a team members that you wanted to... Um, monitor their activity and you are planning to use hub staff these are going to be the uh, packages for you you can start on four dollars per month you can choose starter plan like time time tracking time sheets activity levels and if you wanted to of course scale up you might want to go for the grow with a uh, two seat minimum you can choose grow plan but the mess the most popular team uh popular package is going to be in the team subscription which is ten dollars per month you can choose team plan and all these perks and benefits for your liking but the, the thing is i'm also using uh, the free account for one seat only and again when i does that i would be able to get all of these perks and advantages you can also show full plan comparison if you wanted to give you an informed decision if you, hub staff is the right app for you all right you can also check of the integrations if you are very particular with other platforms that you are using for example if you're using asana click up github jira zoho project salesforce and trello right so these are monday.com so these are the platforms that you can check if you wanted for the integration on hub stuff thank you so much for watching we will see you again in the next video